Hi, today we're again on beautiful French Riviera in the mountains and we're here to talk about the Shimble TP Mini wireless HDMI system. So a few weeks ago, uh, Shimbo, a Chinese company, contacted me and asked me whether I wanted to evaluate their TP Mini wireless HDMI system. Uh, at first, I wasn't sure I would have the use for that, but I was curious about what it could bring to my workflow, and I said yes. And right away, they sent me these units, and I've been trying them since. And today, we're doing a little field review of the use cases I have for this system as a macro photographer and a solo uh, content creator on YouTube. First of all, characteristics. As you can see, these are very small. Uh, they are aluminum cases. Uh, they're about 100 grams and very light and beautiful design, as you can see, with the, with the dragons and the red uh, background. And these units transmit HDMI output from the camera to any field monitor at a distance of up to 200 meters according to the specifications and they can transmit uh, only uh, full HD uh, maximum of 60 frames per second uh, they don't go up to 4k I think that would be too much uh, probably data flow and uh, they work flawlessly my experience with these is I just took them out of the box turned them on and they were working. I plugged one in my camera, one in a, in a monitor uh, in my garage, and right away I was able to monitor a spider 20, 20, 30 meters from the garage on a large screen. It was fantastic. You don't need, even need to pair them. They are already paired at the factory. So really they come right of the box, out of the box, and they, they're working. You just need to add, have some batteries. And as it turns out, I already had red batteries to go with them. So these are NPF type batteries, so you just click them in place, turn the units on, and they're working. Now I want to show you two cases where these are really gonna help my workflow. The first is really as a content creator and as a solo uh, creator and filmmaker. It's often difficult to film oneself. Um, I have to go back and forth, uh, set up my camera, start the recording, hope that I'm in the frame, stop the recording, check the video. If it's not okay, then adjust the camera, start the video again, go back to my, the place where I'm speaking, um, film for a few seconds, etc., etc. Three, four, five times. It's very tedious, especially if you're far away, even if you put a film monitor on your camera. With this, I can simply hook up the wireless system to a field monitor, just looking at the monitor like this, I have directly the feed from my camera. It's an incredible time saver for a solo creator because you actually see what the camera is seeing in real time. I'm gonna go back there and come back, looking at my screen, and I'm going to monitor myself. I can see where I am now and what my camera is filming, and I'm gonna go back without breaking a leg towards the camera looking at my angle, uh, at my framing more exactly, and come back to where I was before, going around the bush, and come back right where I belong for this video. So that's so much easier than just going back and forth, going there, coming back, trying to frame myself. You know, incredibly useful when you're filming yourself solo in nature. So now let's go to another place and try to find some subjects to do macro and I'll show you what I can do also with this wireless system. So the second use case of the Shimbo TP Mini I wanted to share with you today was actually the remote monitoring of shy animals. Let me explain. In this area around me, uh, there are these very, very big wolf spiders about this big, um, which live in burrows. And uh, they're very shy animals and they come out of the burrows sometimes a little, but as soon as you get close, they disappear because they sense the vibrations. And so it's very difficult to get good uh, footage or photos of those spiders 
out of their burrows. And so my plan today was to find uh, several spiders, set up the camera, set up the shimble, uh, TP Mini to send me the wirelessly the uh, HDMI signal uh, to my field monitor and just go and sit 20 meters from the burrow so the spider would have plenty of time to come out and I could, uh, when I saw the spider on the monitor, I could just start my video. Okay, that was the plan. And unfortunately, I've been looking around for more than two hours now and there's not a single burrow. And I know the spiders are here because I've got the GPS, I've got the GPS coordinates all around me here. I know there are plenty of spiders, but they're just not here today. Sorry. <laughs> but we're going to set up the camera as if there was a spider, and I'm going to show you. I found a burrow. There's a spider inside. I've set up my camera about 20 centimeters from it. The spider has retreated because it's afraid of me. So I've plugged the TP Mini. It's now sending the HDMI signal to my field monitor through the receiver unit. And because the spider is not going to come out until uh, I go away, it's sensing me, it senses my voice, my shape, my vibrations. So I'm just going to go away and sit somewhere on a rock 20 meters from here. And I can start the video remotely using an app on my phone. All right. Wow. I think I'm far enough. Just watch my screen, have my phone, and when the star spider comes out, I can just, you know, take photos or video. So it's time to head back home now and conclude this video. Uh, we'll try and find maybe another subject in the garden. Overall, as you have seen for me, the value of the TP Mini as a solo creator and also as a macro photographer is invaluable and much, much better than I anticipated because it will let me do a number of things that I would not do if I had to be right next to my camera or let me do things more efficiently um, when I'm alone, uh, as is the case all the time. So we're back home, and as you can see, I've set up now the camera in the garden to monitor this beautiful crab spider that lives in our flowers. So the shim uh, Shimbo uh, TP Mini works flawlessly. I love the thing. Uh, I, I find it's very convenient. For me, it's great uh, to be able to, to film shy subjects like this, and I'm going to make a good use of it in the future. Um, if you like this video, well, uh, subscribe, because there's a couple of other projects I so, uh, thought of when doing this, and there'll be more videos with this uh, device. And in particular, this one crazy thing which I'd like to do this winter, so stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the review. See you in the next video.